Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making braised pork trousers with Chinese bean curd. I know there are people that don't like pork feet. They think it's like the strange part of the animal. <laughs> but if you know how to cook it right, it can be soft, tender, and flavorful. Actually, lots of Chinese people consider it as the most delicious part of the pig. So let's get started. First ingredient, the pork trotters. If you don't like pork feet, you can definitely use ham hock or even change to beef shank if that is more acceptable for you. I got two pork trotters. They look like four, but each pack is actually one trotter that is split in half. The supermarket said that they can't butcher it for me for some reasons. So I decided to show you how to cut each piece into three smaller chunks. Oh, by the way, you want to check the skin, remove the pig hair if there is any, or ask your butcher to do it for you. Mine is pretty clean though. The bones are big, so it might seem difficult to cut it, but it's actually really easy if you do it the right way. Flip the pork trotters. Look for the joint. Then you just take a knife and cut the skin around it. Soon, you will have access to open up that knuckle and you just cut right through it. There you go. Bend the pork feet again. Try to locate the joint by the feeling because this one is hiding. Do the same thing. And there you go. How easy was that? Put them in a big pot along with some cold water. I used about two and a half liter. Throw in some ginger slices, two pieces of scallion. I like to crush it to release the flavor. Drizzle in two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. Cover that. Let it soak for about two hours. This is an important step. Pork feet has an unpleasant smell. Soaking will help to remove that. While waiting, let's prepare some other ingredient. Two shallots and four cloves of garlic. The shallots have some dry outer layers. You want to peel it off. This is like a mini red onion, but smells much intenser than red onion. And yes, you can use red onion if you want to. Discard the end then slice it thinly. Peel the garlic and slice it into thin pieces as well. By the way, quickly loosen up the shallot so they can be cooked evenly. Next, let's talk about the key ingredient in this recipe, Chinese bean curd, made from fermented tofu, also known as Chinese cheese. I have used it in my last video steamed pork with rice powder. It adds so much flavor to your dish. Anyone interested in making bean curd from scratch? Leave a comment and let me know. We're gonna need two pieces of that. Add a teaspoon of five spice powder. I'm using homemade five spice. You can definitely use the store-bought one. Add half teaspoon of red yeast powder. This is optional. It acts like a food coloring, which does not affect the taste at all. I do have an Amazon link in the description, but it's quite expensive. Check it out if you want. Okay, smash the bean curd. Try to incorporate the spices as well. Then it will become a paste. Add three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine in batches and mix it at the same time. Follow up with three tablespoons of soy sauce. Set it aside. Now let's get back to the soaked trotters. You just turn the heat to high and bring the water to a boil. What we are doing here is called blanching, which removes the unpleasant smell really well. We are not cooking them in this batch of water, so take them out. Drain them completely and discard the whole pot of water. In the wok, add about 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Don't need to wait for the oil to get hot. Directly adding the sliced shallot and garlic. Fry them on low heat. 
browning these aromatics brings more flavors. If you never had crispy shallots and fried garlic, you should definitely give this a try. It's so good. <laughs> we'll take about five minutes on low heat to get them golden. Take them out and drain the oil. Leave the oil in the wok. We'll use that to brown the pork trotters. Heat up the wok and add the trotters in. If you didn't drain them well, it will cause oil splashing, which can be dangerous. Adjust the pieces so most of the skin touches the bottom of the wok. Give it a few minutes to fry. This is what you're looking for. A nice golden brown color. Once you think you get enough brown surface, turn the heat to low and add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of sugar. Stir everything around. We want to caramelize the sugar. Make sure you check it carefully so you don't burn it. Turn off the heat and we're going to add the aromatics and spices, some ginger slices, some freshly crushed garlic, a bunch of scallion, one piece of cinnamon stick, two pieces of bay leaves, two pieces of star anise, a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Turn the heat back on medium and stir everything until you can smell all those amazing aroma. Pour in the bean curd sauce that we just made, give us a few stirs and dump in the fried shallots and garlic. Keep mixing it for a minute or two. The meat should be coated with that red, rich, glossy sauce. Looks so good, doesn't it? You can keep cooking it in this wok, but I like to transfer it into a clay pot, which is a traditional cookware that we use in China. You can also use a slow cooker, instant pot, pressure cooker, or a cast iron Dutch oven. Instant pot and pressure cooker will save you a lot of time though. Pour in some hot water. If you use cold water here, the skin will shrink, which makes it a bit harder to cook until tender. Don't forget to rinse the wok. We don't want to waste all that good flavors. I used about one and a half liter of water here. Move it around so all the pieces are below the liquid. One optional ingredient that I almost forgot, few pieces of dry hot chilies. If you don't eat spicy food, you don't need to use it. Cover it and bring it to a boil. Once you can see the steam coming up, turn the heat to low. Simmer it for one to two hours, depends on how tender you want. I did it for two hours and that is fall off bones tender. Besides the soy sauce, we haven't had any salt yet. Taste and adjust it. I add about two teaspoons of salt in total. Once the flavor is right, stir and let it cook for another five minutes so the sodium can infuse the trotters better. And you're ready to serve. Garnish it with a little diced scallion. That looks so good. <laughs> I want to show you how tender it is. You can take the skin and the tendon off the bone easily. You can even break open the bones with a pair of chopsticks. This can be a fantastic dinner meal with some rice. But I like to eat it with noodle soup. It's called zhu jiao tang fen, which literally means noodle soup with pork trotters. That is my favorite breakfast when I was a kid. Yes, I know, it's a lot of work for breakfast. That is the thing in China. A lot of delicious breakfast that you will find on the street are time consuming. But they're worth the time. <laughs> okay, let's try mm. it. Mm. That texture is incredible. It looks fatty, but you don't taste the fattiness anymore. Instead, it's just so soft and tender and melts in your mouth immediately. <laughs> it tastes slightly sweet and so savory. Like the sauce is so rich because 
it contains a lot of gelatin. Actually, we consider this as a beauty food in China because um, we think gelatin can help the skin to be smooth and young. Well, no matter if it's true or not. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. Don't forget to take a look of my channel. I'm sure you will find out how to make your favorite Chinese food. New videos come out every Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye.